anyway, it's a 25,000 litre silo we're just sort of finishing up installing. Um, that's sort of all done in the factory up, up to uh, up to these joints here. Um, and then that's that's our pipe work to run round. And we've got two two condensing units, one's got two compressors on and then one's got, so that one has got a remote condenser and then we've just got a standalone one compressor, one condenser on that chassis there. Um, still waiting on a few bits haven't turned up, we should have some cable trays so we can run these cables over to the fans. I think that's an 8 horsepower and that is I think a 10, so we've got 28 horsepower on this. Uh, uh, ladder, so you can get up the top to look at this agitator motor. the controller and everything. So we've got level sensor. We know how much milk we've got water in there at the moment. So I think when that gets up to 5,000 it kicks in the second unit. So we've got a cooling plate on the bottom of the tank and then we've got two bands. As the milk level comes up, it will, it will start on the bottom one and then as the level comes up this, this box here will sense the milk level rising and turn the other two units on in sequence. Um, it's just got built-in wash, hot and cold water that feed to it. Yeah. So we started off the water, so we got 2,000, well, 2,200 meters to so 15 degrees when I turned it on. It's down to seven now. Uh, when was that? Probably about. I can't remember when I turned it on 40 minutes ago, something like that. 50 minutes. Yep, anyway. Okay, it's just coming up to where the turn off. I uh, set 3.5. Um, so the cooling should shut off in a bit. Uh, what is it? Plus six, quarter past six, I think quarter past four I was saying it took two hours to take it from fifteen something, fifteen five down to three and a half. That's two thousand three hundred litres more or less. Um, once it gets over five the other unit will kick in and it'll cool a lot quicker. Uh, yeah. So far so good. So we've checked the cooling works. Um, Next thing we've got to check is the wash works. I'll give it a couple of washes and then uh, might milk it, get some milk in it tomorrow. Yeah, cooling's just cooling's just shut off, green lights gone, a little tick. And now it's into uh, two minutes to post cooling. And then it'll do, I think it's 13 minutes off and a two minute stir. So every quarter of an hour it has a stir basically. wiring diagram with it. It's got everything on there on the whole system. All the wires have got individual numbers on. Um, they might have a supplementary number so you know which group it's in. Um, like that's got a 2 after it. That's if you've got multiple agitators, I think the 265. Uh, it does get take a bit of getting your head around because they'll have something over here and it'll have a number on it and then the C and then you can hunt about and find the C here and then you know that is that one. <coughs> anyway we've got these two spare wires that aren't used. We're using them to send a signal to turn a relay on to run a pump to push the hot water in because we've got a gravity we've got a vented water heater so we need a pump. 
So that needs to go in with the feed to the hot solenoid valve coil, so I need to look on the diagram and work out where I've got to run them wires. But yeah, they're easy. If you can get your head around it, they're easy easy to work on. Um, once, you, once you get the yeah, idea of the way they do their diagram, it's got everything on there. Okay, uh, I think it's that one. Okay, I can never remember which. I don't think it is configuration actually. I think it is possibly parameters. Uh, no, it's not that one because that's just putting the key in again. Uh, is it that one? Oh, test. There we go. Test wash. No, we don't want that one. We want output testing. Input output. Skip. Hot. There we go. That's our hot water pump started up, and there's our water coming out. So we're using the original pump that did the old tank that used to be in the dairy, it used to sit here. So, that works. Um, but you can see how easy it is to work on. Uh, I can't, you know, without remembering what the book, um, you can just bumble your way through to where you want to be. Just don't change any setting, you know, parameters or anything. Uh, we, could, we could turn the coolers on, we could try that one. Uh, paddle, it can run in either direction so you can check that. Wash pump, I think it's a drain valve, might have two dump valves maybe. You can, some of them there's an option to having a second valve and you can separate the wash water from clean to dirty or clean or milky and chemical, I'm not sure which ones it separates. Um, but yeah, get the idea. On um, this one you can uh, you can measure the flow rate, it's got a flow meter on there, so if we turn the hot on again, there we go, 19 litres a minute. Okay. Stop button. And if you're doing something you don't want to do, you can just keep hitting the stop button, it'll back all the way out to the home screen. So, I mean, that's really simple, really easy to work on. Um, 